The second trailer for Captain Marvel debuted last night on Monday Night Football, giving the world our best look yet at the upcoming film featuring the heroine who's set to become the Marvel Cinematic Universe's most powerful character. And while it didn't give away too much of what looks like a very complex story with its share of twists and turns, it did give us more background information on who Carol Danvers really is, how she came to be with the Kree, and the mystery that lies within both of those questions, because it looks like Captain Marvel is in for a major origin story change. The trailer makes it seem like Carol will be at least part Cree, but whether she was born that way or made that way remains to be seen. What do I mean by that? Let's dive in. The crux of the film seems like it's going to follow Carol trying to discover the mystery behind the origin of her powers and her real identity. In the trailer, while on the Kree homeworld of Hala serving with their elite team Star Force led by Colonel Jan Rog, Carol repeatedly struggles with memories of the life she had on Earth, a life she interestingly has no memory of in a major departure from her comic book origin. In the new trailer, we see that Carol is told by a woman that her life began the day it nearly ended, seeming to hint that whatever accident Carol was involved in where she was affected by the device that granted her powers on Earth, the Kree found her with no memory and saved her after that. They then infused her with Kree blood and turned her into a Kree, or at least a half Kree, which the woman says will allow her to live longer, stronger, and superior. Really interestingly, the woman in the trailer is Annette Bening, known best for her roles in movies like American Beauty, The Kids Are Alright, and more recently, 20th Century Woman. Bening was revealed to be in the film back in May in an exclusive report from The Hollywood Reporter that described her role as being a scientist, while Variety confirmed that report and added that she would most likely be playing Danvers' mother in the film. That description of Bening as Carol's mom could be seen either metaphorically or literally, actually. If she is literally Carol's mother and the trailer makes it pretty clear she's a Cree, that would seem to be a direct adaptation of Carol's most recent comic book origin, in which Carol was revealed to have always been half Cree, as her mother, Mary, was a Cree soldier in hiding on Earth all along. If Benning is just playing a Cree scientist who oversaw Carol's transformation, though, which the trailer makes it seem with her explaining the process in that scene to Danvers, she could be Captain Marvel's metaphorical mom, kind of quote-unquote there, sort of like Dr. Erskine was almost a father-like figure to Captain America. But there are two less obvious possibilities that have fans talking. First, that Benning could be playing an avatar of the Cree Supreme Intelligence. That would technically fit with the description of Benning as a scientist, as that's kind of what the Supreme Intelligence is. I mean, he's an artificial intelligence comprised of the greatest minds Cree society has ever known. While there's not a ton of evidence for this in the trailer, the scene we see Benning in briefly is kind of an interesting backdrop. It's almost like a holodeck from Star Trek, and Benning is wearing robes and sports these vivid green eyes, which remarkably look much like the color of the Supreme Intelligence itself. It also might be appearing to Carol in that form if Benning is also playing Danvers' actual mother, sort of like showing Carol a friendly face to ease her transition. The second possibility is a little bit more vague, that Benning could be playing none other than Marvell. Marvell, if you'll remember, was the original Captain Marvel, a Kree soldier and superhero on Earth whose DNA was fused with Carol Danvers in an accident involving a piece of Kree machinery called a Psych Magnetron. That accident granted Carol the abilities that allowed her to become Miss Marvel and later Captain Marvel after Marvell's death. If this is the case, Benning could almost sort of be a Glenn Close Nova Prime esque figure in this movie as a gender bent version of Captain Marvell, a legendary warrior that acts as a mentor for the young hero. If Marvell dies in the film, as in the comics, that death could inspire Danvers to take up the mantle of Captain Marvel. We've also heard from our friend Charles Murphy of that hashtag show that Benning's character is also involved in an action sequence with Jude Law's character, something that probably wouldn't be required of the Supreme Intelligence. The last thing that I want to touch on really briefly is that the nature of Carol's accident is also called into question by this trailer. In the first teaser, we saw Carol piloting some sort of space jet on Earth, facing down a UFO, either a Kree or a Skrull ship, we can't really tell which right now, but we later see pieces of that jet in ruins, with Carol in an Air Force jumpsuit at the same crash site being exposed to an explosion that supposedly grants her abilities. And in this trailer, those scenes are expanded upon. First, we see in a quick shot, coincidentally, while Benning's character is speaking, that Carol bleeds green from her nose, the same color as Kree blood from what we see later in the trailer. Whether this is pre-accident or another incident involving Star Force later on in the film remains to be seen, but it's possible that either Carol was always half Kree like we speculated, or that this is just a later scene in the movie. I mean, Carol falling and getting back up again looks like it's going to be a major recurring theme in the film. We then see a figure approaching her as she lays on the ground, arcing with blue energy after the explosion. While the figure is almost completely unseen, 
in this trailer and really could be anyone. They seem to be wearing a knife or a sword of some kind on their hip and they're also potentially wearing the outfit of a Kree soldier or a member of Star Force just judging by the green hue. So maybe this is yon or potentially even Marvel finding her? But we also later in the trailer see a scroll in what looks to be a very similar surrounding aiming a blaster, potentially suggesting that these scrolls were there too during the accident. So maybe Carol got caught into a skirmish between the Kree and the scrolls, or maybe she was attacked by the scrolls and then saved by a Kree hiding on Earth. Only time will tell. Let me know what you think about these changes to Captain Marvel's origins in the comment section down below. But that's going to do it for me here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day. Or consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.